Today is my birthday and I said to myself, I must do this revision with a grade 10 to 12. Okay, today I want us to check the, the right angle triangle. Right angle triangle is something like this. We call it a right angle. This is a right angle triangle. And let's say we have an angle here, angle theta. If we have this angle, angle theta, and we know that uh, how do we name these uh, sides of a right angle triangle. We know that from theta we've got opposite side, opposite side, and then we've got adjacent side. This is adjacent side. And this one is hypotenuse. Okay, this is just a revision. So if we've got this, this is the opposite side, hypotenuse and adjacent side. Okay, we've got these trigonometric uh, identities. How do we uh, name the um, how do we find the the, the ratios of these trigonometric uh, 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 identities? We know that you have got sine theta, uh, sine theta. What is sine theta? Sine theta always is opposite side over hypotenuse. That is sine theta, opposite side over hypotenuse. And then we have got cos theta. Cos theta is adjacent side over hypotenuse adjacent side over hypotenuse and then we've got tan tan theta what is tan theta tan theta is opposite side over adjacent opposite side over adjacent okay if it's like this we know that we is this is how we name uh, our a, a, a side of a right angle triangle. Let's assume this one is all the all the sides are opposite because uh, when the cut is in plane we know that we have got um, a, 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 a negative side and the a positive side. So if it's let's say let's say it's on the cut in plane. If it's on the cut in plane let's say this one is y and this one is x. You know this is y and this one is x. So if it's y, this one is y, and this one's uh, adjacent is x, and this one is r. Let's assume like that. Okay, let me do this. Uh, I said this one is y, this one is r, and this one is x. If it's like that, we check on the cutters and play. We know that if it's sine theta, it's opposite side over hypotenuse. Opposite side over hypotenuse. We said this one is y and this one is x opposite side over hypotenuse so it means sine theta will be y over r okay r is just the distance hypotenuse okay cos theta cos theta is an adjacent side over hypotenuse so it's a x over r and then we've got tan theta opposite side over adjacent so it means it's y over over x these are our uh, trigonometric ratios you can call them trig ratios i know that my my handwriting is very bad it's just that i'm an actor and a presenter today is my birthday i just want to tell you i just want to remind you of this one now we are going to go to a cutters and plane now we are going to our cutters and plane uh, we, we are going to check the quadrants you know that you have got four quadrants Cutters and plane is very easy, something like this. This is a cutters and plane. If it's a cutters and plane, you know that from here we've got x and here we've got y. Here x is negative, negative x, and here y is a uh, negative. Okay, from here we know that um, uh, if we are checking the if you are checking these these identities. These are these ratios y over r opposite side over hypotenuse. So, so if it's sine, I'm going to check. Oh, okay. This this one is the first quadrant. Okay, hey, yeah, so this one is the first quadrant. We are moving anti-clockwise, not clockwise. It's moving like this. It moves like this. Moves like this. Anti-clockwise, not clockwise. This is the first quadrant, and this is the second quadrant, and this is a third quadrant and this is a fourth quadrant yeah this mathematics and now what you are doing we're going to check from from these uh, trick ratios we said we want to check 
how is sine on the first quadrant, sine, cos, and time, uh, and then on the second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. How are these uh, trig ratios, sine, cos, and time? If they are positive or negative, you want to find out that one. So what you are going to do, we are going to do, uh, we are going to check from that uh, that chart. Sine theta is opposite y over r. We are going to uh, to talk about y, uh, r, and x no longer opposite side, uh, just inside, hypotenuse. Uh, uh, etc. But you, we must know that the hypotenuse is always positive because it's a, it's a distance. R is always uh, positive. You know that if you want to calculate uh, R, is, you just say from the distance formula R squared is equal to uh, X squared plus Y squared and then you calculate uh, then you solve for, for R. From here, if we are using opposite Y over R, sine one from the first quadrant, sine Y over R. Let us go there sine y over r what you must know if it's y over it's y over r r is here we know that every time r is here there is r r is here r is always positive r is always positive so when you are checking there my pens man. okay when you check there hey, maybe. okay from here not this one Hey, let us use this one. Okay, from here we know from the first quadrant if it's y over r, sine is y over r. If it's y over r, so it's y divided by r. They are all positive. So it means a uh, sine is positive. And then we check cos. Cos. Cos is x over r. X is positive and r is a positive so cos will be positive cos positive divided by positive is positive then you check tan tan is y over r where is y over r they are both a uh, positive so it means all are positive if we say all we are talking about sine cos and tan they are positive because everything is positive there from the first quadrant and then we are going to the second quadrant second quadrant we said y is positive and x is negative and r is always positive. So let us check sine. Sine theta is y over r. So it's y over r. So if sine theta, it means sine theta is positive. y over r is positive here on the second quadrant. We check cos. Cos x over r. x is negative and r is, is positive. So it means uh, it's going to be negative. Cos is going to be negative. Then we go to tan, y over x, uh, y, y over x, positive divided by negative. So, who is positive here? Only sign, only sign is positive, yeah. Here, yeah, all are positive, but here, only sign is positive. And then we check on the third quadrant. Third quadrant, we've got y over r, y over r y is negative r is positive so it means sine theta is negative and then we check cos theta x over r x over r at negative divided by positive so it cos is going to be negative then we check tan negative or is it a it's y over x so it means negative y over negative x negative divided by negative is positive so it means here tan is positive only time is positive and all these are negative then we go to the fourth quadrant this is our fourth quadrant fourth quadrant we check um sine theta sine theta is y over r negative divided by positive so sine theta is negative we check cos theta is x over r x is positive x over positive r so it means here cos theta is positive because it's x over r we, we check ch tan y over x negative y over x so it's negative so who's who's, who's positive here only cos theta so we know that from the first quadrant all are positive second quadrant only sign is positive uh, third quadrant only tan is positive and fourth quadrant only cos is positive so maybe uh, i know that uh, if which is so it means a, S, T, only positive. If we want to claim this, others would say uh, all, okay, let me give you a simple thing. All, 
all from the first quadrant or oh, oh, okay let's just say add add sugar to coffee so you know that all from the first quadrant all the second quadrant sign a uh, third quadrant a uh, uh, time and then fourth quadrant a uh, uh, cost add sugar to coffee yeah from here we know that uh, this is the cutters and plane and we're checking the quadrant from here we know i told you that uh, the the angles are moving anti-clockwise the movement is anti-clockwise if it's anti-clockwise so it means here yeah, it's uh, zero zero degrees and here is 90 degrees and here is 180 degrees and here is 270 degrees normally we are not using we don't use um uh, 270 uh, cosec cotton and uh, second we don't uh, use that one it's not it's out of uh, our our syllabus uh, so we are only using this time, course, and time. But maybe I can check with your teachers. Because I was a teacher long, 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 long ago. Maybe 2000. Uh, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unequivocally. So what you are going, this is 90 degrees, 180, and this is 0 degrees. From here, we know that if it's from here, this one is going to be, okay, this one is 90 degrees on, on this first quadrant. It's 90 degrees minus theta if, if let's say we have got theta here and the theta so this one is 90 degrees minus theta yeah, i don't know what's happening with my pen Eesh, i got so many pens just to uh, to give you this uh, information and here second quadrant we have got 90 between 90 and 180 we have got 90 degrees plus theta and then 180 minus theta minus theta and this one on the fourth quadrant between 180 we we normally don't use 270 but if it's happen that you you find 270 is only it's almost um, working the same as a, a 90 degrees but from here we're going to it's going to be 180 degrees plus theta 180 plus theta so if we are using 270 we're going to say 270 minus theta and from here we're going to, we're going to say 270 plus theta but now we are going because here there is another angle here, 360 degrees zero degrees and 360 you know the revolution start afresh and then come again and then to zero or 360 and from here we've got a uh, 360 degrees minus theta we can say 360 plus theta uh, something like that so here we've got 90 minus theta 90 plus theta or first quadrant we've got 90 minus theta and then we've got 90 plus theta 180 minus theta 180 plus theta here 360 minus theta and how do we uh, find this uh, reduction formula we're going to go to our reduction formula yeah now i want us to check reduction formula reduction formula if you are talking about the reduction formula we're talking about uh, these uh, you can find that uh, there are some angles but those angles are like 90 minus theta we know that we've got sine theta but if it's not sine theta maybe it's 90 minus theta okay let us check maybe uh, for example sine into 180 uh, maybe minus theta what is sine into 180 minus theta if we check there sine we're going to sign to 180 so 180 minus theta is telling us the the quadrant where is 180 minus theta 180 minus theta is here here is 180 minus theta so how is sine here we know that if because it's on the second quadrant sine is positive so the answer will be sine theta you know look how easy it is okay we can check maybe uh, if we say tan into 180 degrees plus theta 180 if it's 180 plus theta 
which quadrant is this one? You check, mm, it's not this one, it's not this one. Oh, it's here, 180 plus theta. So how is time here? Time is positive. So the answer will be time theta. These are re reduction formula. You can check, maybe you can say, um, uh, let's say time into 180 minus theta. Time into 180, which quadrant is time into 180 minus theta? Here yeah, is it, time into 180 minus theta. So how is time here on the, side quad uh, on, on the second quadrant? Time is negative, so the answer will be negative tan theta. Hmm, okay. Maybe we've got cos um, into 180 minus theta. You can uh, use those uh, uh, those uh, uh, reduction formulas. You just check the quadrant. If it's there, you check the quadrant and then you check how is that one. How is that uh, uh, identity sign, tan, or cos? Okay, now we've got another one. Another one, these are co, uh, we call them co, uh, co function. Co function. Co functions, uh, we are only using sine and cos. We don't use tan, cos tan will be a, 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 a cotan. So now we are using, if it, uh, maybe if you find that there is a 90 plus or minus theta. If you find 90 minus theta or 90 plus theta, you must know that that identity, like sign or cos, will just uh, you just put co here, cosine. If it's sign, it will be cosine. If it's co cos, it will be sine. You just put or you remove that uh, that co on that function. For example. So if it's if it's sign, it's gonna be it's gonna change to cos. If it's a cos, it's gonna change to sign. For example, here's an example. Maybe you have cos into 90 degrees minus theta. Cos into 90 degrees. You check the quadrant. Which quadrant? First quadrant. First quadrant, everything is positive. So it means it's gonna be positive. But you cannot just say cos because it's a co function cos and it's 90 minus theta. If it is 90, you just say the answer will be sine theta. Okay, let's say we've got sine into 90 plus theta. Sine into 90 plus theta. You check which quadrant? Second quadrant. How is sine here? It's positive. But because it's 90 plus theta, we're going to put a, it, it will be sine theta. Because it cos sign if it's sign it's gonna be cot if it was for time we're going to say cotan but we, we were it's not on our syllabus this cot and sec and uh, cosec something like that is not on our our our, uh, our quadrant okay that's how we are doing the reduction formula and uh, co functions maybe what you can do we can go to uh, to to our good example so that you can see how this thing works yeah before we go to our example we've got a uh, negative angles what if uh, these have got uh, negative angles you know negative angles we're talking about sine into negative theta or cos into negative theta something like that if it's a negative angle of course it's moving anti-clockwise if it's a negative angle so it means that negative angle is here negative angle mm, it's just here this is a negative angle it goes like this so if it's a negative if it's signed into a negative angle let's say that negative angle is here so how is sign here sign is negative only cause is positive so the answer will be negative sine theta if it's cos into a negative angle, how is cos here? Cos will be positive cos, cos on this quadrant, fourth quadrant. So if it's a negative angle, we're talking about the fourth quadrant. So if it's tan into a negative angle, tan is going to be a negative.